Hello children, in the last video we learned about arithmetic progression and how to generalize it, that is find the value of nth term. In this video we will learn about some of terms of an arithmetic progression. Let us start by an example. Rajat needs to get a well dug. He calls the contractor whose team will dig the well. The contractor gave, gave him the following pricing estimate for digging the well. For the first meter, the cost will be 250 rupees. After that, the cost will increase by 50 rupees per meter because it becomes tougher to dig as you go deep. You find rocks and so on. So the cost will be more. Hence, the cost per meter is increasing as you go deep. So the estimate is the cost of digging the first meter is 250 rupees. The cost of digging the second meter will be 250 plus 50. The cost of digging the third meter will be 250 plus 2 times 50. The cost of digging the fourth meter will be 250 plus 3 times 50. Now we can tell it's an arithmetic progression. As we have seen in our last video, we can find any term in this list. Say Rajat needs to know how much total money he needs to spend for a 10 meter deep well. This means he would have to sum up all the terms to get the total cost. Remember children, in this example, finding the value of the 10th term will not be sufficient. That will give you just the cost of digging the 10th meter. To find the total cost of digging, you will need to sum the cost of digging the first meter, second meter, third meter and so on till the 10th meter. That is sum of all the terms. Let us look at it as an arithmetic progression. For the first meter, the digging cost is rupees 250. This is the first term. For second meter, the digging cost is 250 plus common difference, which is equal to 50 rupees. So the cost of second meter digging is 50 plus 50 equal to 300 rupees. For the third meter the digging cost is 250 plus 2 times 50 because the digging cost is increasing 50 rupees per meter. So it will be total of 350 rupees. For the fourth meter the digging cost will be 250 plus 3 times 50 which is equal to 400 rupees. To generalize it for nth meter just the nth meter the digging cost will be 250 plus n minus 1 times 50. As we know the value of nth term in the arithmetic progression is a plus n minus 1 times d and d is 50, 250 is the initial value. So the nth meter digging cost will be 250 plus n minus 1 into d. If he wants to get a 10 meter deep well he will have to find the cost of digging for each meter because that cost is different for each meter. That is, he needs to find all the 10 terms of the arithmetic progression and then to find the total cost of digging, he will need to sum all the terms. So let us find the formula to sum them up. So sum of n terms of arithmetic progression is equal to a, which is the first term, plus a plus d, which is the second term, plus a plus 2d, third term and so on till the nth term plus a plus n minus 1d which is the nth term isn't it so that is the total sum a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d plus a plus 3d till a plus n minus 1d and what is this value let us first know about genius mathematician Gauss he was able to sum from 1 to 100 within seconds when he was in elementary school. How is it possible? He was a curious child. He found a pattern in these numbers. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 till 100. That is what he wanted to solve. So if we reverse that order, you get 100 plus 99 plus 98 plus 97 till 1. So that, that way he organized the numbers into two lists. Same numbers, once in this direction, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 till 100. 
and then in parallel wrote 100 plus 99 plus 98 till 1. If we add the corresponding value in the two list, we get the same sum every time. That is 1 plus 100 is equal to 101, 2 plus 99 is equal to 101, 3 plus 98 is equal to 101 and so on till 100 plus 1 is equal to 101. So in his two list there were 100 rows. So the total sum of two list equal to 100 times 101 which is equal to 10100. Right? So the sum from 1 to 100 will be half of it because each term is getting counted twice right now. So the sum from 1 to 100 is equal to 10100 by 2 which is equal to 5050. And that's how he was able to calculate it very fast while he was in elementary school. Amazing. So coming back to the sum of arithmetic progression, if we follow what he did in the school, take arithmetic progression and then reverse the list. So now we have two lists. Then add each pair in the list. For each pair, the sum will be equal to a plus a plus n minus 1d which is equal to 2a plus n minus 1 times d as you can see in the each row above we will find the same sum in every pair 2a plus n minus 1 times d so n times the same value will be n into 2a plus n minus 1d but that value is twice the sum of the series because we have added the same terms twice, right? So the real sum Sn, that is sum of the terms of arithmetic progression is equal to half of this sum as we have added same terms twice. So sum of n terms of arithmetic progression will be equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 times t. So coming back to the well digging problem where we have started, we know Rajat needs to get a 10 meter well dug n is equal to 10 as there would be 10 terms first term a is equal to 250 and common difference d is equal to 50 rupees per meter so his total cost to dig till 10 meter which will be equal to sum of cost of first meter plus cost of second meter plus cost of third meter till cost of 10th meter because cost of each meter is different that will be equal to sum of arithmetic progression which will be the formula we just found out n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So now replacing the values it will be 10 by 2 into 2 times 250 plus 10 minus 1 into 50. Now we can solve it easily 10 by 2 is 5, 2 times 250 is 500 and 10 minus 1 is 9 so 9 into 50. So this becomes 5 times 500 plus 450 which is 5 times 950 which is equal to 47 five zero rupees that will be the total cost of digging 10 meters deep well so sum of terms of arithmetic progression is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 d can we simplify this formula further we can write 2a as a plus a just look closely we know in arithmetic progression the first term is a and the nth term is a plus n minus 1 times d which, which is marked in red. So what we have inside the brackets is actually the sum of first term and nth term. This means the sum of n terms in arithmetic progression is equal to n by 2 into sum of first and nth term. Now it is much more simpler n by 2 into sum of first term and nth term. That's all for now. Bye bye children.